God, it's been a while since I've made a video, a little over a month now, but I, I felt like what happened last night, I deserved that, uh, to, to make a video and get other people's thoughts on this. Um, last night, Detroit Tigers uh, played the Cleveland Indians, and Armando Galarraga had a perfect game going into the ninth, and during the ninth inning, um, he ran to cover the base on, on first. The ball got there in time, but the referee, Jim Joyce, uh, called him out, and we called him safe, And uh, which, you know, the guy was out. Uh, but missed the call, and there's no perfect game. But with a bit, and so there's a bit of big fallout about this. A lot of people are mad, a lot of people are upset, and it is. It was a huge mistake. And there's a lot of people, mostly football guys, which I consider myself one of those. Um, I make you know mostly football videos, and I've gotten criticism on here on YouTube, and it's fair criticism. When I do a lot of baseball or basketball stuff, I'm usually not as um, informed as I am during football season, and I admit that. Uh, football is my passion. Football is, um, you know, what I really make my main focus on. Uh, but but what happened yesterday, I think all sports fans uh, can really put their input in, too. But what, what the football guys usually say is, you know, football is not really a stats-driven stats driven league. It's more about wins and losses. No one really cares that much about touchdown passes or tackles or whatever, as much as in baseball where it's really, really, um, really important. And it's taken very seriously. And so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in baseball that I could really care less. I don't, you know, a lot of the stats stuff, which makes it not as fun a sport for me as football. But I do think that this is something that doesn't need to be brushed aside, saying that, oh, well, you know, yeah, it's a perfect game, but they won the game anyways, and, you know, baseball, they're just too caught up in stats anyways. I don't, I don't agree with that. I believe this was a huge deal. Um, this, is, this is a huge accomplishment. This would have been the third this season, but the, only the 21st in all of Major League history. This is a big deal. So to dismiss the call as eh, it's not a huge deal, no, it is a big deal. But that being said, the reaction to it is what I want to talk about. People on the internet, most I've seen a lot of media members and stuff have really um, sided with Jim Joyce and, and what happened, uh, trying to give the guy a break and seeing how truly, genu genuinely sorry he was afterwards. There's a lot of people on the internet, though, and a lot of fans and whatnot who were calling for his head and wanting to fire and everything like that. Now, I'm not a Detroit Tigers fan. I am not. I'm a Texas Rangers guy, so and I have not had one of my of the Rangers be in that position um, in a long time, and so I don't know. It, it's hard for me to gauge or say what Detroit Tigers fans should feel right now, um, but I will say this: I feel like this is this is a situation that involves a lot of good people and something bad happened, because I think what happened though is when what, what it was a bad call. But the reactions of the people involved towards this situation has what made this a bigger story than uh, it would have been if it was another perfect game. You look at Armando Galarraga, who I think is the main protagonist in this story. Who he's the one working for this. Uh, he's the one working for this. He's the guy who goes and covers the base to get the out. He's the one who's who. This is the history's riding on, and it happens. And what's impressed me so much about his response to this. Never once in all, in, in in me watching the way he reacted to his press conferences, the way he said what he said about what happened, have I sensed any cynicism, any kind of deep seated anger about it? Of course, he's disappointed. But even when the call was made, he made that smile towards Jim George, and it wasn't a cynical like, "Come, we gotta be kidding me." It was a disappointed man, really. It, but there was nothing. There was nothing hateful about him, and even in the post game, he talked about how, you know, how how bad he felt for Jim. How he said he didn't have to say anything to me. He said he it was great that he was that big of a man to tell me he was sorry, but I didn't, he didn't have to tell me that because I could tell from his body language that it killed him. And I think right now Armando Galarraga has got to be the most popular guy in baseball right now. And then you go to Jim Joyce, who yeah he made the call. He stood by his call when he made it. When Leland came out there and argued with him, he stood by it. But when he saw that it was wrong, it killed it. It wasn't, it, and he, he didn't. He didn't try to defend himself or say, "Well, it's a hard job." No, he took the full brunt of it. And if you see his his quote, he, but you really have to hear him say it, how it really hurts him. Because these guys who umpire these games, they they umpire baseball because they love baseball, and he knows exactly what that happened. He he called. He said, "I'm in a historical call," and I kicked the bleep out of it, and he. And he, he said, you know, I took it from this kid who worked his butt off. And it, it really tore him up. And then Jim Leland, who, yes, during the game, he's going to argue the call because that's the manager's job. 
after the game, still stood up for Jim Joyce. Said, hey, we're all human. We make mistakes. I think all the guys in this situation have really stepped up to the plate and showed what kind of character they have. And what's really stood out to me personally is that I don't feel like any of them have towed the company line. People who like sports, who watch sports a lot and, and, and dream to recover it or whatever, when you hear st- sp- uh, athletes get interviewed and things of that sort, a lot of times it's really boring. It's some of the most boring interviews you're ever going to get is from sports figures, especially ones who are playing right now because they're so guarded, because they're so worried about saying anything, letting their heart really show because they'll get killed for it. And I don't blame them for it because the media has this catch-22 of we want you to say something, but if you do say something, we'll kill you for it. But I feel like in all three of these guys, they all they, n- none of them said that oh, is what it is. That's kind of what happened. They really said how they felt. And all of them had the positive reaction to it. This is an excellent story of showing why sports are so great. Because when bad things happen, the way people handle things, it can teach you how to handle other things in life. Once again, I'm not a Detroit Tigers fan. I don't know, um, you know how you guys are feeling right now, and it sucks. That being said, though, I will say that you've got a guy on your team right now, a pitcher who we've seen is great. He's a, he's a great pitcher but it's a guy of great character who can really be a bastard for that team. And like I think overall baseball can really appreciate what he brings to this game. So guys, that's my take on it. I feel like the people who are trying to kill this umpire, that he needs to be fired and the death threats and all that kind of junk, that, that, there's no place for that in any reason. But appreciate the way that everyone's handled this and appreciate what story that we've gotten to have because of this negative situation. Leave me comments. Leave your uh, uh, video post and everything. Also, I'm going to put a link up here at the end um, this summer, and I'm going to be working for a company here. I'm going to talk about maybe more tomorrow, maybe Saturday, about what I'm going to be doing. It's not sports-related. It is reporting and Internet-based. Um, it's kind of off the path of what I'm doing here on, on, on this channel. Uh, but click the link. Subscribe. It may not look like much right now, but believe me, I'm going to be involved with this. And uh, It's called carebuzz.com. Click on it. Subscribe to the channel, check it out, and I'll talk about more of that later on. But right now, leave your comments and stuff about what you think happened here and video responses of if the situation was handled correctly and your opinion on the whole thing. See you guys later.